Hey guys, this is Chris, and today I wanted to do this unboxing video for the Zoom H4n. Now, a couple days ago, I got the Zoom H2n. Uh, it's a really cool little recorder. Uh, sounds pretty decent, but whenever you pick it up and hold it, you can tell it's very much like a toy. It's pretty much made out of all plastic. And whenever I weighed the difference between uh, the price, the actual things that come with it, and what it's made out of, um, I just decided to spend a little bit more money and get the H4n. Um, I've already owned it, so I know it's very nice. And so uh, now, while my box is pretty much wrecked already, because uh, the only one they had left was the, um, the demo model, but I don't care. Uh, it's, it's a great recorder, so I, let's take a look at it. Now, like I said, with the H2 end, there's not really anything that comes with it. Um, the H2 end, uh, it's very plastic feeling because um, it's all made of plastic. So what, what comes with the H4N is very different. There's a lot of things that come with it. Now, um, just uh, that's all the um, warranty information, things like that. So... That's that. Then you got a nice thick manual because to be honest, the H4N can do a lot and uh, you kind of need to know everything it can do. And uh, so that's that. And uh, just some more reading material. Now, let's take it out. Now, this is just way better feeling than the H2N. Um, what I liked about the H2N was that it had the capability of the mics all around it. Um, I liked it at first, but upon looking at it more, to be honest, I like the fact that these are the only mics on the H4N. Uh, you point these where you want it, you know where the sound's going, you can actually see it. Now, whenever I was playing with the H2N, I, I didn't really like the fact that it, um, I didn't really know what was going on inside of it. And I, I'm sure if I spent more time with it, I would figure it out. But the truth is, too, on the H4N, all these buttons feel great. Um, there's a lot more to it that you can do. You have the XLR mic inputs. Um, just everything feels really solid. And for the price difference, I think that's really important because it's not $200 more. Um, I think the retail price for these right now, the H2M was $179, and I believe the H4N's uh, $279.99. So for 100 bucks more, you get so much better of a product. Um, this is actually metal, I believe. Uh, it feels metal. It feels a lot better. Um, and the button, like I said, the buttons feel great. Um, Everything just overall feels way better than the H2N. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, I'd say try to go for the H4N because it is the industry standard for um, for audio for the, for this level. A lot of people like uh, some roll-in products, and they are pretty decent. But um, you see people using an H4N on tons of YouTube videos. Um, it's a little bit more professional than just your regular camera audio because camera audio on most cameras nowadays are ter is just terrible. So let's look at a couple other things that come with it. See, now this is the great part. The H2N basically comes with nothing. <laughs> and so for you get the H2N for $179.99, then you got to pay $39.99 more for an accessory pack. Now what's nice about that accessory pack is it comes with a remote, but you can get the optional remote later. Now, this is uh, just a, a mic handle, uh, which is nice because then you can stick this on a mic stand. Um, it actually works really well. Um, comes with a USB cable, um, and a regular power supply, not USB, which is kind of nice, and a windscreen and a nice... Perf this, this case feels really great. And then that can go in your camera bag or whatever you need. And it just feels like it's really going to protect it. Um, 
Now, like I said, the H4N is very rugged. It's very strong feeling compared to the H2N. And this is what's really nice is that it comes with the case already. It has things that you already need that come with it. Um, so really, it's not it's not really a hundred dollar difference because if you take one seventy nine for the H two N and you add forty bucks, you're already really close. And just a little bit more money, you can get the H four N. That's kind of how I talked myself into it, at least. Um, anyways, this is a great product, and I can't wait to make more YouTube videos. Uh, in some of the other locations that I'd like to, and I'll be using this for my audio because the H4N sounds awesome. So thanks for watching this video and hopefully it helped you guys.